I'm Aaron Pierce with Pierce Aviation. You may have been taught to brake your nose wheel of your Eclipse jet into free castering mode by adding brake in the desired direction of travel. That's a bad idea. It's a 6,000 pound max takeoff weight airplane, which is really light for a jet, but that's a whole lot of kinetic energy to deliver onto the brake like that to get the airplane swinging in one direction or the other. You might even wind up in a situation where the nose wheel is 90 degrees to your direction of desired travel, and you have to lock the brakes, get out the airplane, and kick it back into submission. That's pretty embarrassing. What I recommend doing is using the opposite direction of rudder because the nose wheel steering mechanism is connected to the rudder pedal, not to the airframe. The way you do this is you push the rudder pedal until you get the nose wheel into its limit where the nose wheel is not traveling anymore in that direction. Then you add opposite rudder while you're touching the brake in the direction of desired travel. So if you start with the right rudder, then you add left rudder while you're holding the right brake, holding, not too firmly, the nose wheel is going to break loose further to the right. It's going to enter free castering mode. Now to bring it back in, you do the opposite. So you've got full left rudder and you're turning right, but you want to bring the nose wheel back to the left. If you're trying to bring it back to the left, you need to capture the mechanism again, go back full right rudder, touch the left brake. The nose wheel is going to start swinging to the left. You'll feel it capture. You can bring it back into the center. And now you've got normal nose wheel steering again. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe.